YouTube, hello, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We are on day number four, and we're still in chapter four. We're gonna go straight back into the Phoenix fight today. We're gonna try to give it another chance. I'm not gonna beat my head against the wall, though. If we can't get it figured out, we'll just move on. We can get the other power down. We can do it with the third power down. If we get that extra power down, we should be able to breeze right through it. So not gonna worry too much about it. Just gonna keep having some fun today. We're probably gonna make some uh, main story progress. This should be another longer recording. So hope you all enjoyed uh, two days ago when episode three came out. Obviously, that one was a bit of a longer one. So hope you all enjoyed that one. Hope you all enjoying the content. And yeah, I appreciate you being here. YouTube, we'll see you in a bit. It's a little off topic, but I was thinking about making a little like a little short form thing um, to put on like TikTok and YouTube and stuff. Um, but like the the thing that I'm working on with this game is I'm trying to be better about using assess because this was something that I was not very great at in remake and i think that had a lot of value just in terms of like reading out the enemy descriptions and stuff i think folks will enjoy that however in this game it's so brutally important to actually assess things and i feel like a lot of folks don't recognize that until it's too late and i feel like i want to just make a little thing that says hey i'm not going to spoil anything for the game i want you to enjoy it the way that you want to however please assess everything just everything you fight just everything you fight you will thank me for it later <laughs> just assess everything every fucking thing yeah because i feel like if that would have been the only thing that if somebody would have told me that i'd have been like thank you so much <laughs> which i know that's a delicate balance right because you have to be like is this a spoiler is it not but like man yeah that's like the one thing i think everybody needs to know is like you need to assess like it's very important so i'm actually building barrett as more of a ranged dps Harley, I, I'm I'm making him like kind of I don't want to say like Aerith, but it's kind of like Aerith, right? I'm using him as like a high a high HP range DPS right now. <laughs> Thanks, bye. <laughs> but I think doing Red Thirteen and Aerith, I think this is probably the right call because then Red Thirteen, I can obviously change this in the actual um, fight too. I feel like Red Thirteen will have a um. If you notice a stray chocobo, you'll I already got, find a stop not too far from I already it. got the stray chocobo. Leave me alone. Um, I feel like the having the tank in the front line will matter a lot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's give it a shot. <laughs> All right. Heal back up right now. Keep it together. Ready for new this is the yep. Grand horn. Ooh, okay. So even the sentinel stance doesn't stop the unlockable attacks. I, that makes sense, but like I had to see. I forget the gimmick with this. Multiple melee attacks will pressure them, but also cause them to counterattack. Oh, abilities, 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 abilities. No, 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 no. Uh, let's switch to Aerith real quick. Oops, shit. Okay. Feel like I'm getting a little bullied here. Uh. 
I'll tell you what, I'll do the best I can. How about that? Oh shit. That actually worked. Savage Assault raises their limit levels. Yeah, let's do that. Let's finish off this last breath of creation, get it into its um thing. Um, get the plasma discharge up, I think. No, we'll sonic boom, we'll sonic boom, we'll sonic boom. Let's actually do the Stardust right here on the bomb. Right? <laughs> 
my god. Let's heal again. Firework blade here and get rid of the bomb. On it. Don't give up now, you guys. Making the breach am I right? Be careful. Shit, don't die. That was so close. Good enough. We should be high enough HP here. Yeah, I just don't think we're, I don't think we're quite strong enough. That's unfortunate. I don't know how, wasn't Cloud at like 2,000 HP? How did he die? Compared to the others. I guess his, um, his magic defense just isn't as high. It's gotta be, right? Hmm, that's okay. That's okay, that just makes me feel better about like, you know. <laughs> about losing yesterday. Okay. let me know. I'm always happy to help. Go back to our balls to the walls party here. Um, I don't think we can get to any of these spots because I tried to go over it in this section here and this part is where we got blocked off, right? And it said something about something happening in Junon. So I think that's probably where we need to go at this point. What is that? Oh, it's just the mushroom, duh. Um, and I don't see any other towers or anything, so we're good there. The, the, obviously, all the three le remaining spots are all over here as well. 1724. Okay, so that's my bad then. So he was a little bit lower than he probably should have been. I thought 1700 would be enough, though, because Aerith only maxes out at, like, 16, I think. Right? Yeah, 1684, and she survived. So that's got to be a, a magic defense thing then. 39 versus 57. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that checks out. That checks out. Okay. He does have that physical armor on. I did forget about that. So, yeah, I mean, could we switch over to like this Queen's Guard bangle or the, um, the Beast Man R band to get more magic defense? Probably. And that would probably help, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, does this have three slots and only has two? Okay, perfect. So we can actually switch to that Queen's Guard Bangle, actually. And yeah, good to go. I'll pop a manual save here just in case it forces me into something that like I can't come back from. I doubt it will, but just in case. Whee!
Let's go. So all of this is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. <laughs> Vegas. Sinra's yeah, we were close. Gotta have someone stop them. It's their friggin' MO. I think if there wasn't like a way to lower its strength, I probably would have just went back and did it again and just gotten it done. But um, since there's a way to lower its strength and make it easier and there's no penalty for doing so, I don't see a reason to like throw my head against the uh, mortar until there's like a reason for the challenge, right? Like maybe at the end of the game, we'll try the full fights or something, the full power fights for all of them. That might be fun. Mm-mm-mm. I actually haven't gone into photo mode in a bit, so. Lily, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> so you're safe in the fact that we're still in Junon. I am walking into under Junon though right now, which I think is, I, I fell asleep, so I don't know how far you got. But I imagine that this is going to be a little bit farther than where you're at. Because I've already done all of the, um... I've already done all the stuff in the map so far. So I've done everything on the map set that I can do so far. So I, this is where I gotta go next. <laughs> but hopefully we'll be able to just start something up here and I'll be able to go back and finish off all the, uh, the research and stuff in the area. That's the hope anyway. Just a few left. Nice. Yeah, there was stuff that I couldn't get into yet, and I imagine this is probably how I get it going. I save just in case it doesn't, but run away. <laughs> I appreciate you popping by, though. Oh, gosh. Hey, what's down here? yeah it's been a lot of fun i'm actually i'm really glad that i've been able to like to tune into all of your stuff without getting spoiled on anything i think the only thing that i've gotten out of it is like when i'm watching you play i'm start i'm thinking about how i'm playing and it's helping me a lot like get better at like the combat and stuff so i appreciate that <laughs> hello one moment holding welcome to under junon our sunless oasis. My Who name you? is Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. Hmm. <laughs> See? Pretty great. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey. See, there's spoilers already. <laughs> You see, did you see all those people that were on the wanted poster? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> huh. What? Avalanche, huh? That depends on who's asking. A woman who could turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Can't take it with you. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. <laughs> half a million? Damn. <laughs> Aerith's expensive. Down here, though. We know when to turn a blind eye. Let's go. We like Rhonda. Let's go. Consider our lips sealed. <laughs> Sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would if you knew even half of what my town's been through. Excuse you, Rhonda. I did read the lore from the Life Spring. Thank you. <laughs> you don't like it? Leave. But 
Over there, there's a quiet little inn where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Hmm. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. <laughs> they made a well, right well, well. Now we're talking. <laughs> no, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. And? Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there. And security is tight. I do too. You start anything? <laughs> anything at all? And there will be consequences. Gotcha, Rhonda. Sorry, Rhonda. Thank you, Rhonda. <laughs> Behave yourselves now. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Moving on. Don't care what she said. There's got to be black robes around here somewhere. So how are we going to find them? That would depend on where they are headed. True. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea or by air. Okay. Right. Might want to ask around town then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, low profile. Queen's blood. <laughs> Another day in a life without sunshine. Next to the city of Bob. Hey, snaps. Oh, made your way out of here, huh? Mind if I get a shot of you? I've got the perfect backdrop. Fuzzy pickles. Under Junon's a fascinating little town. Their water is especially so. I mean, the color. This beauty comes at a dangerously high price, though. It's worth documenting before it's gone. It's true. Anyway, if you know any other camera-worthy subjects... <laughs> I try. <laughs> Why well, can't go over there yet, Snaps? Brittle houses in the sea air. Pink chip Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. She's so What up? Hey there, looking to augment your folios? Sure, I don't think I have in a while. Tifa! All oh, right, we got folio level 4. Uh, what did that do for me? I have to turn my camera off for this to actually show everything. Did I actually get to anything? Bodyguard. That was level 5. Where's Prackle and Pop at? Listen, we don't ask questions we don't want to know the answer to, you feel me? Like... Oh, insufficient weapon level. Interesting. So even though my party level is high enough, my weapon level isn't. Okay. Um... Okay, so this is what I found out when I was playing yesterday is that when you're using at oh my frames my frames dude i swear to christ i only have this problem with twitch <laughs> swear to christ i only have this problem with twitch it's wild gotta have more parties true <laughs> um so these no mp cost attacks are very good right and they also strengthen your materia spells which is also very good so i'm still going to unlock them but using them does not give you synergy bars i found out and i don't know if it's because it's free and like that's the drawback um but i found that when i'm using these impulse and like whatever the other ones are called i'm not getting the synergy atbs Ching! Enhanced Tempest, eh. Magic attack by 20 is pretty good. I already got the elemental damage up. I'm actually just going to do the magic attack. That seems pretty good. 
just a flat stat boost. You love to see it. And then she has the magic defense up as well, so I need to send her over this way next. I think that was it, right? Everybody else has five. Oh, Red 13 is 10. Siphon Fang HP up. That's pretty good. Phantom Fang. Team up with your partner to dodge and deliver a Counter-Strike. I do like the Counter-Strike things, and I think having Snow Flurry is probably pretty good. Oh, there's HP up up here as well. And Inventions Bone Increase. Yeah, we go this way. We go this way. We go that way. We'll get Wildfire next time, too. I mean, obviously, we'll we'll, we'll get all of these. The Snow Flurry, the Wildfire. Um, Come back soon. Yeah. So I, I do think that there's probably some... Um, some balancing there, but we'll probably have to choose like which characters are the which elements, and that'll be the easiest way to um use their SP efficiently. But we'll Many we'll find out. Ago, this stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, okay. a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. Now that once proud metropolis is mere flotsam courtesy of Shinra. In its place, the company built a new, unsinkable city of steel to stand as a warning to any who might dare to oppose them. Or so I was taught. Interesting. Many years ago, a floating city okay. built atop a fleet of... There are two things there, so I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything that was missing. Um, okay. So Chadley's here. There's an item shop over there. Weapon shop here. We've got a Queen's Blood. Oh, that's going to be... So I should go there first. Dave's Chocobo Express. Ooh. Got some protesting. Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. True. She wasn't kidding when she said it was well guarded. Got any other ideas? Uh, rocket, up the butt. Oh, I already did this. Vi, run! <laughs> it's a banjo! It's your worst fear! Run away! Sorry. That's the end of the bit. <laughs> what up? You're not looking to throw down, are you? Kind of look similar to the lady in a um. Just about to leave port. Oh. Calm. Name's Isabel, by the way. Was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I had to try my luck elsewhere. Although, maybe you can put up a decent fight. I can try. What do you say? One round of QB before I set sail? Yes. Um, okay. What what was the Choco Mog again? Was it one? Yeah, it's a one cost. We should put this in over something. Um, let's put this in over one of the security soldiers. And the special ability for this one is raise power by one for each other enhanced allied card. So this one actually gets stronger the more that we power up our other cards. And we've got a couple of cards that power up. So we can actually utilize these two to make the Chocomog even stronger. Um, and that should be pretty good. I think we're good to go. This should be fine. We'll see. I haven't played this in a couple of days, so I might get my ass whooped here. Don't judge me. Um, we can dip the grenader. I don't think we need that right now. Yeah, that's better. Um, do this. Interesting. What 
What did that do? Lower... Okay. <laughs> okay. It's a weird flex. I'm gonna try to push up here and see if I can't get that taken away from her. Nope. Oh, you're right, it did. Good call. Hey, you know what? That's the first time it's frozen during this playthrough. There we go. Yeah, it has. That's fine. It's actually not fine, if we're being honest, but like, there's nothing I can do about it is the real answer. <laughs> um, I guess we do this, because then it protects our two, uh, two dot back there. She's playing really smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, and now she gets that back. Um... I'm gonna lose this middle lane no matter what. I think this is my best chance of, because the alternative is I go up here and I put a nine down, but then we lose if that happens, right? Um, where this actually forces her to put something down at least two strength on the bottom. And then I'd probably, I would lose anyways in that case. But I feel like everything else is just kind of like, whatever, we have to make a move, so sucks unless she accidentally knocks out one of my cards yeah we're doomed we're doomed we'll just retry hmm yeah she played that extremely well uh no on that thanks it is yeah i love it man it's fucking great really important that I push forward here. I think taking that one up top is pretty important because I don't think she can get that one back. Oh, the Grenader. Oh, she screwed herself. Right? Yeah. She just loses now. Do I have to do this? Absolutely not. Am I going to anyway? You bet your sweet ass I am. 
You bet your sweet ass I am. Absolutely. I win. <laughs> Hey, Isabel, thank you so much for the very close match. I appreciate that. I do. Yeah, that was very close. Very close. 38 to 0 is like the closest I could have imagined in uh, in Junon. So, hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, you know? It's very nice of you to have uh, stepped up to the plate and really given me that, uh, that challenge I was looking for. So, hey, I hope you enjoy your boat ride back. You took the wind right out of my sails. Nah, 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 that was first try. <laughs> Wrong, she played Especially way better friends. in the first game. Well, we could get that match in before I moved on. With all that pent up frustration, I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight. Thanks for clearing my head. You're welcome, Isabel. Well. See, she wasn't that bad. She was fun. She's Just nice. To swap the deck once more. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, it seems that way. I would have thought the opposite. You would have thought that it would have been something that, like, they responded to pretty easily. But I was mistaken. Nothing hiding back here. They have this problem in Remake, too, where they suck the camera in a little too deep. Like, the camera can be allowed a little bit farther. It doesn't need to be this, like, tight on just Cloud's shoulder. Door's locked. Ah, that would make sense. That would make sense. Yeah, because on paper, they probably thought, like... Destroying one of my cards was the right play. But basically all it did was just gave me more control over the board. A regrettable mistake. So much for, uh... Gathering intel. Hey, there is something up here. Look at this. All this exploring was worth it. An orb of lightning material? Well, that's very telling. Uh, I think everybody in my party right now has access to lightning. Right? Either with the, um, with material or with their abilities. I think Tifa doesn't have, like, the, ma the lightning magic material. I can give it to her. Didn't I get a lightning and wind material? I did. I did. I'll give Tifa that instead. Yeah, that's really good. Now she has access to all of the major spells. I wonder if I'm going to need bile for this. Red 13, I'm going to steal your bio. Oh, I'm sorry, your poison material. And then Red 13 can have something that needs to be leveled. We just got a whole bunch of new material, right? We've got all these auto cast materials too. Maybe magic efficiency for the time being. We'll get this leveled up so we can decrease 5,000. Holy Hera, there is no way. That's going to take forever, dude. The hell? We just got our spells to level two and they only take 300. That's going to take forever. Jesus Christ. Okay, whatever. It's there. <laughs> all right. Is everybody else all equipped up? Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Good deal. Everybody's got the material slots for full. We're good to go.
but now my team's all got lightning abilities. Um, Cloud's ability is that Firebolt Blade, so he's already got the ability to use lightning. Um, I think he also has... Does he have a lightning range spell? I don't think he does for the free one. I think I've gotten Fire, Ice, and Wind so far. I don't recall getting a lightning one. Some fishing village this is. Ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Anyway, right. short of stealing the boat and causing a scene, both us and our black robe friends are SOL. Waters here used to be teeming with fish. Practically jump into your boat, way people tell it. But ever since the offshore reactor came online, only things caught in the nets are monsters. And I ain't talking tuna. Shinra just couldn't help themselves. Had to go and poison the sea too. Bastards. We should have never let them build a reactor in our waters. It's true you shouldn't have. And here we are. <laughs> here we are. Right around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? The people here? They hate the lack of sunlight, but not me. I like it this way. Though I'd never tell them that, of course. It does have a very, like, Undercity feel to it, doesn't it? It is called Under Junon, after all, but, like... Hello, hello, hello. It's got a very Midgar feel to it. All right, let's move my camera really quick so we can see. Got the Alpha Dunk Bangle. We got the Wise Fox Bracelet. We, again, we probably will get, end up getting these cheaper later down the road anyway, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. And we've gotten all the weapons so far, so we don't need to worry about those. So we're going to go. That's you fast. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll do my best. Thanks. So it said that we can go to rest as soon as we finish gathering um, intel. We really didn't. Listen, heed the voice of our great mother. Hear how she weeps, how she suffers, how she cries out even now for deliverance from pain. A pain that we, her children, are inflicting upon her. If you want proof, then look to the waters devoid of their vibrancy. And what is to blame for this? Mako. Shinra's miracle has befouled your seas. But I promise you it will not stop there. It will come for your shores, your crops, the air you breathe. The life stream must be preserved. It is the essence of our planet, the very thing that sustains us, and we must not bleed our mother dry. Hmm. What up, Chadley? that you've made your way to Under Junon. It's true. This town is quite reminiscent of the Midgar Undercity, isn't it? The severe lack Can you hear my mic, Chadley? <laughs> Kind of fucked up, Chadley. That's a little weird. Uh, we, we can't do any other fights, right? About to beat the mic on my PlayStation 5 controller. <laughs> Can you hear me now, Chadley? Many hazards await you on the road, so take care. Oh my gosh! Actual customers! Yeah, hi! Um, hello? <laughs> Hello. Oh, booster pack. Give. Doesn't it though? I'm I'm really enjoying this. I, it is taking everything in my soul not to play it offline. Come back again, please. <laughs> Come back again, please. <laughs> Okay, so I can fast travel here, right? I guess I probably can't leave though, huh? I can fast travel here though. It really bothers me that we can't go to this area yet. I'm gonna take a peek. Business must be terrible, yeah, I mean, they are underneath a, an actual city, so that makes sense. 
All right, let's head to this really quick. I want to double check what he says again. Just so I can feel better about what I'm doing. Can't let you through. Just says can't let me through. Doesn't tell me why. Oh, but the chocobo is good to go in, huh? Can't let you through. Crow's nest. Well, um, I guess I could try swimming over there. Give it a shot. Just want to make sure that we've exhausted all of our options here, and then we'll we'll sleep in the end and move on. You could make that jump. Oh, don't run into that. Ooh, hold up. What do we have here? <laughs> Ether onion, nice. Um, okay, so I'd have to jump all the way down. I guess it'd be faster to start from here, huh? Versus like trying to find my way all the way down. It reminds me of the movie holes, if I'm being honest. I ain't no way. They're not gonna let me climb up that. Onions and peaches. <laughs> I love onions. Maybe I can climb up there. Hmm. No? It sure does look like I can climb up there. And there's a path down here. I love that the little smiley faces are glitched on top of their uh, face because they didn't expect me to leave. Pretty funny. Okay. Another ether onion. <laughs> I mean, listen, they're not wrong, but oh. listen here, jump scare. There's a little climbing spot for the chocobo over there. Maybe we can go up this way. Take that picture, Cloud. Do it. Do it. You won't. Wait, he didn't. He didn't. I'm not sure how we completed that quest. <laughs> you want to see Red use a grappling hook? Same, honestly. Can I get down that way? No shit. See, I didn't look hard enough. I went into Junon for no fucking reason. Shit. Yep. There's life spring right there. No shit. Another life spring. Beep. 
Bing, 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 bing. Let's do it. Give me more knowledge. You got for me, Chadley. Cloud. Chadley. Your combat data has revealed the location of the mind flare lurking in the Junon region. Oh no. It said this eldritch horror devours the brains of its victims. Good. We cannot turn a blind eye to this threat. Yay! Yay! Yeah! Woo! Mind flare! Yay! <laughs> Yay! An Elder Tor, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Up, up! I'll be damned, you really can't just get up this way. Wow. I didn't I figured when you couldn't go through the front door you wouldn't be able to get in through the back, but uh looking like I might be wrong. Oh, this is the bridge that we saw before. What was what is this? Is that a buster sword? Oh, oh what up, homie? Oh, you might be right. It might be Kyrie. <laughs> At least we can fast travel here now. That's nice. Oh, okay. I'm trying to pet the baby Jogobo. Could you not? Oh, shit. Got it. Weep, weep. All right, let's go see what the fuck she's up to. <laughs> oh my god, okay. There's rest spot. Lots of materials. Do you feel like we're stealing from her? A little bit? Your privacy guaranteed, huh? It does feel that way, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Look at the little moogles. She's not even lounging? The hell is that little mushroom thing? All right, well, we may as well complete the deal. You got any uh, items on sale? Hell yeah, brother. Two Mega Potions. Let's go. Anything else? Hell yeah, brother. The Alpha Dunk Bangle. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. The decoration is very good. It's very good. Uh, I can't make the gold needle yet. Nothing else we can make in this area. We can make the gold coral armlet for the first time. Let's look around a little bit first. We can enhance the Alpha Dunk Bangle. Let's go. Nothing new here, nothing new there. That we can make the gold coral armor, so we will. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, and now we can make the enhanced gold coral armlet. Let's go! Is that Alpha Dunk Bengal good for anybody? 
Uh, it's one less than what Cloud has, so yes, is the answer. Uh, she won't be switching because she needs the three materia slots. I think the Orchid Bracer also has three materia slots. Owl Bracer only has two. I bet you that's better. This one comes with four materia slots and is only minus one and minus one. I'm going to do that one for Barrett. And then we'll give Red 13 the biggest defense one, which is the Alpha Dunk Bangle. And then this lets us put two more materials onto Barrett and let those start growing. Yeah, you got them new Alpha Dunks. <laughs> Look at my Alpha Dunks. <laughs> I got them at, what is it called? Dunham's. I got them at, I got them at Dick Sporting Goods. Um, let's see. We should probably start working on some of these other materials that we haven't started leveling up yet. ATB Stagger is pretty good. Let's do that one. And maybe Spirit Up? I have two Morph materials. I really only needed one, and I barely need the one, if I'm being honest. Um, that makes the most sense. Yeah, that makes the most sense. We'll give him the Spirit Up. Okay. Right on. Well, looks like she's not here. Do I need to heal? No. Pardon me. Hello? Oh, there's stuff. Hiya! Yeah, thankfully, yeah. I wonder what it's listed as. Abandoned Lighthouse. Yeah, totally. <laughs> totally. Yep. Alright, let's cross the bridge. Surely this won't go poorly. Four Condor time! Let us risk life and limb to discover the truth of this phenomenon. Yeah. Wait, no. What happened to the trouble? Is that what we came for? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I seem to have gotten caught up in the excitement. I swear. Come on. Let's get this over with before the boy Wonder tries to talk us into worse. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Four Condor. I think this is round three. Proto relic, where would I be? That way. Over here. <laughs> your princess and your treasure await you. Make haste, my hero. Mwah. 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 <laughs> Does he really think we don't realize it's him? If he does, then he's farther gone than I thought. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, he's in danger, all right. We're doomed. All of us. Are we doomed, though? What do you mean? We're nothing more than pieces in this game. Normally, we'd be stuck here, waiting on the board until someone came along to play with us. But all of that changed when the captain showed up. Ever since that day, we've been able to move around under our own power. I've never felt so alive. And it's all thanks to the captain. Damn. Without him, we're as good as dead. So how should we handle this? I don't think we can get the proto relic back without the captain. It's true. Yeah, we gotta help him. <laughs> uh, fine. Fine. 
All right, let's see what we're working with. We got um, Warlord. This is just the, uh, these are just the towers, right? No, this isn't. This is a flying green, okay. These are the towers. The Gilga Cannon. So the Warlord is actually a unit in this one. Okay. So we are gonna need an aerial. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. So three reds, two greens, and two blues. We just need a good offense, and we just need a good balance. We should be fine. We should be fine. We should be fine. Um, with Barrett and yeah, 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 yeah we'll be fine. All right. So we're gonna start by putting up. An elite enforcer to stop this big guy and then we're gonna put a range guy right behind him as soon as the uh, ATB levels up just so we can start getting some uh... how did it still get hit by that that's fucked up I'm just gonna let that one go down get the Vanguard up here Okay, that's on this side. We're gonna put another defender this way. And then we need ranged guys on the right here, on the left here. Put it back a little bit farther. Cleric down. The timer's the tough part here. Cloud down, pop. And then we'll put Barrett over here. should be good.
This treasure is mine and mine. And now he's the warlock. Never will I allow you knaves to claim it. Captain, come, my loyal henchmen. With this, none can hope to stand against us. That's right. That's right. We shall build ourselves a Fast buds. Empire. <laughs> Captain, we'll wait for us, Captain. Where are you going? Good lord. <laughs> Good lord. That polygon really? piece of shit. Holy Come shit. On. Hold on one second. Sorry, I'm going to pause the recording here. Hang on one second. Let's go. Let's fucking go! <laughs> Man, all right, here we go. Sorry about that. Welcome back, YouTube. This whole thing started when the captain showed up. Yeah, when they gained free will. They were pretty happy about that, weren't they? They were happy about that. Indeed they were. I still remember the weight of the chains that bound me to Hojo's service. I think we can all relate. Finally came along and set me free. It's no surprise he's become a symbol of hope. Even so, we can't just abandon those guys. Never mind the proto relic. Right. Speaking of which, I've reacquired its signal. Dope. Send us the coordinates. We're in. Intelligence specialist. We gathered world intel at 50 separate locations. Damn. Oh, well, we can definitely go that way. Dude, I'm so happy for him. That's so fucking dope. That's so fucking dope. I've been watching him do that for a long fucking time, y'all. <laughs> he definitely deserves that. That's really cool. Good for him. That's hype. Ooh. Enemies? Fight me, nerds! Ooh, hey. You're dead. This ends here. That's it. Gotcha. No time to celebrate. Nice. Yeah, I bet you his chat's got to be fucking pumped, dude. That YouTube video is going to be electric. I can't wait to watch that on YouTube, though, too. That's going to be super fucking dope. I can't wait. Man, that's so fucking cool. We just had someone comment on our uh, on a, one of my um, VODs from our from our playthrough of it, saying that, like, I got lucky and, like, Ray's been doing it since September, and I was just like, listen, he's playing really well. Like, <laughs> he's playing really well. It's just a matter of time at this point. Do you know what his team was? I know I'm not focused on the game right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm curious, though, what his team was. He's dark. Also tells of the gifts Phoenix bestowed on the kind angler. As thanks for his fire, the great bird brought forth myriad fish into the world. So when next you partake of the region's seafood, remember to praise Phoenix. <laughs> now praise the sun, praise Phoenix. Fun. Hollyrath, Charizard, Remoraid, Teddy Ursa, Slowbro. Wow. That's actually like that's a fairly weak squad. Polyrath is really good. Like under like Polyrath is incredibly good in rentals because it has dynamic punch and hydro pump. Um, but you have to have some big balls with with Polyrath. You have to win a lot of 50-50s. That's so fucking cool, man. God. Good types though. I bet you once you get past Will, that becomes a lot less of an issue though. He lived on one? <laughs> no shit, dude. That's so hype. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. That's so hype. Damn. 
Damn. All right, so we've gotten our last thing for Phoenix. Well lava, okay. You've located and analyzed all the crystals in the Junon region. Thanks to you. Yeah. Phoenix's flame flame no doubt came down much more radiant. Ah, though you have yet to obtain the requisite materia, as I recall, you'll first need to confront the divine via the combat simulator. And I'm gonna do that. Later. So, okay. I can't go fight this thing yet, though, because it wouldn't let me in, I don't think. Because that was, that was another crow's nest thing, I think. Um, let's go back there and find out, though. Well, maybe it wasn't. Nope, it wasn't. Dope. I see you hiding up there. My sensors indicate the presence of a unique life form. Rare Fleetwing variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Fleetwings are also known as stalkers of the skies. When hunting, they descend so rapidly that their unsuspecting prey has no time to react, let alone fight back. To that end, barbecuing within their territory is not advisable, unless you <laughs> want your food to vanish before your very eyes. As it happens, fleet wings are so perfectly adapted to life in the skies that their anatomy has inspired several aeronautical designs. Oh, fun! Continued research into this aerodynamic wonder will surely pave the way for humanity's flight-filled future. You'll be soaring through the clouds before you know it. Why you gotta soar through me for? Leave me alone. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a shot. Alright, let's assess here. Allow me. A rare flight wing variant that possesses heightened flying capabilities. It soars through the air and assaults its prey with ease, maintaining its speed at any altitude. You just have to do the uh, wind. Okay, it's that's easy. Here. It's your turn. Let me go. Come on. I need to get her reverse gale onto her. Um, what's it called? On her quick thing. Get me up there. Die before I get it off the stagger. Oh, I counted. Great. We'll take those. <laughs> Got it. Nice. they were gonna do like the Metal Gear Solid thing where it like vibrated the controller I was actually I was very heavily expecting that 
<laughs> All right, let's do this last uh, four condor thing. I think it's the last. Yeah, it's the last. Um, and then we'll um, we'll hop and go do that mind flayer fight, which I imagine that's going to be tough. Uh, okay, is it up? I think it's going to be up and around. Let's go up this way. Oh, no, this is where the waterfall was, right? Yeah, it can't be that way. Damn, my face. It's got to be up this way, then. Ooh. Oh, here's the way down. Yeah. wrong way. I don't think so. What up? see gotcha yeah i guess i could have found a way to turn that down rather than turning it off hmm. yeah i forgot about that there's so many things that this controller can do that i feel like companies just hadn't really like explored very much so i guess i just wasn't ready for it <laughs> i've been playing on the playstation 5 for four years now and it doesn't happen very often we'll heal up here not that we need to be healed for the uh, Port Condor fight, but. <laughs> Climbing up walls so I can play Port Condor. Didn't think I could finish this stuff. <laughs> Thought I had to progress. I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. a crow's camp i feel like we're okay a high ether we're definitely stealing this time this is absolutely stealing no doubt about it we are stealing <laughs> no doubt about it we are stealing that was that was theft we definitely don't want to go down so up it is Yeah, they already won't let us into their camp, so it's definitely uh, definitely a good look that we're just taking from them. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Ow. Preparations complete and standing by. You may proceed when ready, Cloud. If we head back in there, it'll mean going up against the captain one more time. Fine by me. Let's rip them a new one. I like the way you think, Bear. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm in. I'm in. Is this the captain's empire? Many moons have passed. Far too many to recall since my search began. Yet my treasure still eludes. Not I gleaned, but loneliness. <laughs> what are you doing? Stay back! We won't let anyone harm the captain. Rest assured, 
we won't hold back. We've Fine. been helping you. It's a fight you want. You got it. <laughs> you don't want that though. You don't want that though. All right, so lots of um, just grays. Villainous Vanguard. Able of striking, moving quickly. Rotten Ranger. Support the front lines from the rear of ranged attacks. Evil Enforcer. So these are just going to be um, just generally good units overall. I feel like getting the just a good balance again is probably fine. I feel like we haven't had to move off of this though. Like, we should we move off of this maybe? Defense focused. Because it's still timed. We do need to like push forward still. No, let's just try it with the regular one. Let's see what it does. Let's see what we do. Okay, a little bit of everything here. There's gonna be a cleric on the left, so we want on the right rather, so we wanna get something big down. Range strike. Put the cleric back here. Then we'll put a ranged unit in. And by the time this guy even gets close enough, we should be able to put a fighter down. Nice. Wait for the three. I killed that shit. We'll do this. That's bad. gauge one here. I think we're good here too. Except they went towards this guy instead of over here, which makes me really sad, but... He's switching types too, you see that? stopped what am I supposed to do Get in there there it goes no way no way hit it are you kidding what the fuck 
That's fucked up. We had that in the bag. What the fuck, dude? That was fucked up. They were just all stopped for like forever. There's nothing I can do about it. That sucks. until we get the three again. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm gonna lose again. I'm gonna lose again. The other cleric down here. See, it's the stop. Like, what am I supposed to do about that? Yeah, I guess I'll have to switch to that. It's the only way we can do it. Wait till we get to the three. Yeah, see, he even kills the long range ones, though. And that, so, yeah, I guess it's gotta be the trebuchet all the way out here. That's so silly. Yeah, we lose again. Man, that's dumb. I gotta go back and get the other ones in. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to hear it. I didn't mean to come out. It sucks, because we had that the first time. That sucks. Um... Yeah, we'll just do offense focus.
do it down here. Oh, it killed my ranged unit, dude. With the AoE. This isn't gonna work either. Yeah, this isn't gonna work either. Because not having that elite at the beginning is like, is proving to be too much. Maybe this one. This one's tough too, though, because we don't get like unlimited of the actual units. The only one that we get unlimited of is the uh, blue one. We have to be really careful with the um, how we utilize those units. Try this one. Yeah, I suppose. I thought I was doing pretty well, but like these units are like clearly better than yours. Ah, that's the elite one, okay. Put the elite one here. Try to put the cleric back far enough that it doesn't get hit by the ranged attack. this guy now. Until this goes down. Knocked out both of my clerics, dude. I need the three gauge one. Barret just went down.
Oh, they don't actually like aim towards him. They're both missing, dude. They're both missing. Yeah, I can't place it here though. Maybe a little let me. Like here. Not enough. These don't turn either. Cool. That was just a waste. Yeah. I didn't know that they wouldn't actually aim and they just like no brain shoot forward. Yeah, pretty dumb. Please don't kill the player. Shoot him. For fuck's sake, shoot him. There we go. Jesus Christ. Woo! <laughs> GG's. Back where it belongs. Time's up for this world. 
And everyone in it. Yeah. But hey, at least we can say we went out with a bang. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I might do that offline if I'm being honest. Like. While it lasted. Thanks for playing with us, friends. May we meet again on the field of battle. Someday. F. Well, if we can find the time. <laughs> yeah, I remember doing it for intermission and it was not exciting. <laughs> Welcome back. Gotta get yourself an external. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. The update hard mode is now available in Fort Condor. Perfect for those in want of a serious challenge. Next time we see him, I hope we're fighting on the same side. Yeah, man. You hang on to this. Just make sure to keep it safe, all right? Hog. So we've only got one more thing to do here. Got the captain's proto relic. Oh right, there's a uh, cutscene for this, right? Definitely in Wu Tai again, or at least it looks like Wu Tai. I shouldn't assume. What the? An untethered soul. <laughs> Adrift in the void of time. This bridge is <laughs> made fast. Captain? No way, dude. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no. No. Ah. Very well. And I shall take it from you by force. No way, dude. <laughs> no way. You are indeed a worthy warrior. I saw it plain, and never does my judgment err. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 Perfect. No notes. Excellent. <laughs> that is Gilgamesh to a T. Holy shit, dude. I am so... I can't believe that. That's so cool, man. My goodness. That's so cool. <laughs> God. Loud? Loud? Yo! Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. What just... <laughs> I was unable to locate you, albeit for only a moment. If something had happened to you because of me, I... Nothing happened. I'm fine. Right. Yeah, same. My apologies. I let my emotions get the better of me. <laughs> Rattled you, huh? Could it be you got a soft spot for Soldier Boy here? Annoyance response triggered. Cause, there is mocking tone of voice. Anyway, don't worry about it. Been in much worse situations than that before. Very well. Regardless, I will do what I can to improve security measures. Dope.
Play stage four of Con four Condor in hard mode. Let's let's at least give it a shot. Let's see what it's about. Let's see what it's all about. In hard mode, take control of the reconstructed Condor cavalry to defeat the advancing Shinra forces. While the enemy units are still just as powerful, the cavalry spirit is now broken and your allies are fatigued, making your job as their captain that much more difficult. Great. So their HP's lowered then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, look at the offensive focus one only having six units. That's fun. That's fun. Okay. Um. Golly, what would be the right, right way to handle this then? I don't think that like applies haste. Yeah, I really don't think that. Um. Oh yeah, you're right. No infinite regular guys. You're right. Yeah, there's only five. I see that. Interesting. Oh man. That's crazy. The difference is massive. Like this one doesn't have the elites anymore. The defense or the stronghold defense focus one doesn't have the elites anymore. Man. <laughs> it'll it'll all rubber band back, Chelsea. Don't worry about it. It'll rubber band. <laughs> Um, man, dude, we'll see. <laughs> no, Axel is the name of the cat. <laughs> uh, man, I don't even know how I'd handle this. I guess we tried defense focus. Let's, let's just look and see. Oh, the spawn rate's different too. Okay, 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 okay. So. Jesus Christ. No way. Yeah, no way. I'm about to have my ass whooped. No way. Mm-mm. Nope. <laughs> nope. The three guns get three gauge ones aren't gonna cut it. Nope, nope, nope. Unless I make them come to me first. That might be the actual answer, but yeah, no way. Nope, I'll come back and do that later. That's gonna take way too much time. I am not interested. Uh, okay, let's take down this last this should be the last intel for the region too. Oh no, I have to do those for the Proto Relic, really? To get the completion thing? Man. I have absolutely no interest in doing that on stream, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> uh, let's go, let's go here. Yeah, I much prefer the, uh, I guess we can try this one too really quick. No, I don't, thank you though. I am going to end up doing it. I'm just, again, it's it's too much of a time sink to do it on stream. I'm not going to sit here and, like, you know what I mean? I'd fall too far behind. Moth unit blast ray. It's this, these two, like, it's at least it's not the big guys in this one. But it's the flyers in this one that are the problem. So four of these, four of these, four of these. Pretty balanced. Okay. It's the time limit that's getting me the most. And I get that that's because they have like, um, what's it called? Um, limited amounts of units. So that's like the way that, that's their way to balance it at the end of the day. 
I'll wait till he gets a little closer first, so I don't run into that guy, basically. And then we'll put the cleric back here. Walk on by, dog. Pushed him out of range. Come on, kill those two. That's fucked up. No denying that that one went better, at least, than the last one did. Which makes sense. That stage four one's the last one, anyways. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely do these. It's just going to be a matter of time and trying to figure out exactly what the right strategy is, but... Saving. We haven't saved in a bit. Beware, Cloud. You've entered the Mind Flayer's natural habitat. There's still much we don't know about this creature, so make sure you are well prepared before proceeding. I'm prepared enough. That doesn't tell me what the objectives are. That's rude. <laughs> That's what I'd expect a mind player to look like. A grotesque fiend that has taken up residence in one of Junlan, Junan's inlets. It is capable of lifting even giant boulders with its with its preternatural, preternatural, psychokinetic skills. Using its tentacles, it siphons off the brains of anything that wanders into its domain. 
Landing synergy abilities will... Okay. Easy enough. Easy enough. Okay. Uh, lesser resistance is to Berserk. Debuffs and magic attack. So it wants to be hit with physicals. And then immune to silence. What even is that? Is that just death? The status effect next to silence? I don't even recognize that. Okay. So we gotta get synergy abilities off. So we need to do a good job of um, mixing up who we're controlling. Atrify, thank you. That makes sense. A stone, I guess. Okay, so if we Relentless Rush here, extend Stagger, yeah, shit. We'll do Synchro Cycle. I'm in. So outside of the hard mode things in Junon, then we've completed what well, um, Junon at least. And we've got a couple more combat simulator things to do, so we will do that real quick. But first and foremost, after I fast travel, I'm going to take this opportunity to take a little break. I'm going to stretch my back out. I'm going to pee. YouTube, you're not going to miss a beat. I'm just going to pause the recording here. Make sure you get up, get stretched, get some water. Appreciate you tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the episode. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more Final Fantasy content. We'll see you in a sec, YouTube. Oh. YouTube, welcome back. Hope you got some water. You better have gotten some water. <laughs> better have stretched, god damn it. You've completed our survey of the Junon region, I see. You're welcome. I've learned so much about the Republic of Junon, thanks in no small part to your efforts in these storied lands. Such insight into our past will invariably help us understand the course Shinra may take in the future. Good I point. I cannot thank you enough for partnering with me. Good point. All right, let's do all of the remaining little battles first, and then we'll move our way up to Phoenix and finish Phoenix. So it looks like we've only got two... 
This gives us an enemy skill. Let's do this one immediately. What's the fight? Do we don't know? All right, great. Great. I'm in. Fight me, nerd. It's just gonna be like three mind flayers. Oh. Okay. Deal with that. You've got this. All set. That's it. No, stop it. I owe you. Dagger all enemies? Oh, we have to retry. Wow, that's fucked. <laughs> okay. Oh, triangle was re-challenge. Yep, it says dagger all enemies. Hmm. And that's part of the condition, so like you have to do it. Okay. I just went by, popped off, and just like knocked it out of the air and figured that was be the win, but uh. So what we have to do then is we have to get up there with Cloud, switch to Aerith. Okay. Shiva again? Is it Tifa? It's your turn. Let me Come on. No, she's got magic pod. Aerith has Tifa. <laughs> or, I'm sorry. Aerith has Shiva. Did you exploit this again? Oh, just by hitting it with its weaknesses. Okay. There we go. this thing out, so I'm not really worried at this point. It's so good.
we get Soothing Breeze. I have no idea what Soothing Breeze does, so we'll have to take a peek. Uh, which we can do in this next fight. Uh, and we just have to win this one. Oh, the Elemental Material. Okay. I was wondering if it would still be in because it said it was uh, because the new upgraded like elements give you the element for your attacks. I was wondering if they would keep the Elemental Material on, but it looks like they did. Yeah, for real. I'm excited to be able to actually get it back on like YouTube and stuff again. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Soothing Breeze. Temporarily stop moving and gradually restore HP to allies and surrounding area. Oh, so okay. So it is a it is a healing move though. Moving Fleet Wing. Gosh. <laughs> I will say that they've made the combat so much more fun in this game. Like, it's just like, it's so engaging. There's so many things that you can do in a fight now. And it all matters. Playing with the other characters actually it has a benefit. What was the zoo again? Oh, I haven't gotten the zoo yet. What's that this then? Avian creatures that live in mountainous regions. They are unafraid of people going so far as to abduct children and terrorize locals. Exploiting their weakness or inflicting enough damage will pressure them. So just wind. Okay. Yeah, for sure. It probably will. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, I didn't change that. Okay, worked anyway. You asked for this. So, got it. I owe you. Ha, come on. Hey, on it. Gotcha. Perfect. Come on. Here. Bring it. Yeah, this is it for you. Gotcha. He's never in doubt. Yeah, when I watched Lily's the other day, I just put it on full screen, and then I just put comments in there with it on theater mode so I couldn't see the sidebar. <laughs> I'm not in a spot to heal. Yeah, it's super cool. It's a really good idea. Honestly, just just limit this thing. Get it out of here. 
taking over. Giving it my all. Got this. Dodge that, huh? Hope you're ready. I still haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do with like short form content and stuff yet. That's a that's a Tuesday project. Let me thanks for gifting this up to Undertaken. Appreciate it. Yeah, I've been looking. Yeah, I appreciate you. I know it's a lot. <laughs> we'll definitely be set for short form content for YouTube for a while. Like for a long, long time. All right, so we've got the elemental material now and we should be able to take out Phoenix now, I imagine. I think we're gonna do the same team that we did before though. We're gonna do Red 13, Cloud and Aerith. I think this, this strategy worked just fine. Worst case scenario, I can always put elemental and fire on um, a defensive piece, and we could do it that way as well. It's resistant to poison, not immune. Can you take over for me? You'll feel it Fuck you. 
man. Look how much we damage it to, damn. Massive difference when you get the all the weaknesses or all the um, strength downs. Yeah, not even close. Not even close. Duty calls. That. that was dumb, but you know what? We're here. We did it. close still that last phase is tough that's gonna be another one that's really fun on full strength that's gonna be a lot of fun on full strength we got phoenix we're gonna take off efreet and put phoenix on immediately for cloud that was a masterful victory over phoenix thank you the thank flames you. it conjured were so captivating i could hardly look away with an immortal ally like that at your side you've nothing to fear not even death oh I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for world intel. Thanks, Chadley. Okay, so let's go ahead and equip that immediately. Because we've earned this. We've got a four-star Phoenix. It does give us less attack, but the magic attack is uh, not necessarily unwanted. So, Also, it has re-raise and arise. Or does that give me re-raise and arise? Because if it gives me re-raise and arise, then this is going on Aerith. <laughs> That's a very, very important question. Boulder Hurl, yeah, it gives it to Phoenix then. It gives it to Phoenix then, for sure, for sure. Okay, then yeah, I'm fine with I'm fine with Cloud having that. But yeah, that's super cool. That's super cool. Okay, so outside of the Fort Condor matches, it looks like we're actually good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and save here just in case. And let's head back to Junon. Oh, this is what takes us back to the grasslands, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that it says one out of three. What is? Oh, that's the cards, duh. That's the cards. I'm stupid. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. I was like, didn't I get all the intel? It's not intel. It's cards. We're good. What up, Snaps? Hey there. Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Good going. Association was impressed too. Bumped you up a rank. Woo! Your technique isn't exactly where it needs to be. But Thank you. But you promise, that's for sure. If you can develop your talents more, I guarantee you'll go places. I'm now a budding photographer. So, what'll it be? All right, so Barrett can get one move ability. We're going to go ahead and give him the Avalanche two-step. Is that what we're looking at? United refocus with Cloud. Friendly fire. Okay, well, we have to get that regardless. So we're going to go ahead and get the Avalanche two-step. Because this is his uh, synergy skill. So we want to get the synergy skill for sure. What's this say? Face is in the way. Applies the regen status effect upon entering battle. That is ridiculously strong. Yes. Yes, thank you. Well, 
Have you found what you needed? I think we're still weapon level four. Or weapon level three, rather, not weapon level four. But Aerith's weapon level four? Hmm. Reduces worship cooldown by two seconds. That's probably very good. If we're being honest, that's probably very good. Yeah, having a pretty good Sunday undertaking. Hope you are too. Um. Nah, we're good. We're good. What about you? MP recovery rate up is pretty good. Do I not have anything equipped at all? I thought I fixed this already. Maybe I didn't for the uh, for the new gloves. Activates concentration after being revived. I mean, cool, but no. Got your haircut, nice. Increases ATB recharge rate and performing actions by ten percent. We'll do MP regeneration. Magic power plus 20. Pretty good. I like the ATB recharge rate though. Replenishes ATB gauge by 5% when using a weapon ability. Eh, this is 10% overall. Like 10% increase. This is 5% flat. It's probably better to have this overall. Probably. Okay. Barrett doesn't have one equipped either. Good lord. Increases overcharge reload when staggering enemies. Oh, cool. Magic power plus 20. Unflinching overcharge. Matt's HP plus 200. Unflinching overcharge. And red 13. This might be part of the reason why I'm having trouble. <laughs> uh, yeah, ETB charge rate. Okay, dope. Good lord. Maybe if I actually used all of the things available to me, I wouldn't struggle so much. Again. Just making sure that there's no. Yeah, it's all the same. Okay. Wonder what. All right, let's head to the. Uh, let's head to the end. All right. Hello there. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please help! Anybody, please. That sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? I am. That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. I'm on it. We gotta go. Now. There's a monster attacking the boat. Ooh, hey, hold on one second. <laughs> Hang on one second. All right, now we can. Okay, here we go. Just decorative, yeah. <laughs> Quickly, please. It's Yuffie. <laughs> Anybody? Uh oh. To do it dirty like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> you think? Grab his fin and hold on tight. Dolphin. Hey, we're coming. Hey, Shinra's most wanted. Get rid of that thing. Say, Thanks for telling everybody. Focus. Get its attention. On it. Fight me. Shot the dolphin. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> 
Terror of the Deep. Sess down. Too bad. A monstrous aquatic creature that lives off the coast of Junon. Possesses a buoyancy that allows it to swim at high speeds through both the water and air. It ingests seawater and then expels it with explosive force to stun prey. Inflicting enough damage on its head while, it, it, while it's in the water will pressure it and cause it to take it to the air. Or cause it to take to the air. Attacking the water cells it creates will pop them. <laughs> All right, let's get Aerith up. So, it is not immune to poison. And it is weak to lightning, okay. Down here and fight. Well, not down there, up here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I changed my mind. Come back. Watch the water. Come up, Cloud. <laughs> I 
nice work. Let's go back Come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. Come on, Mr. Dolphin. Maybe someone should go find a doctor? There's no time. Uh oh. Breathing again. God, she's so cold. Somebody, help! For real, you'd think he'd be swimming a little bit faster. Maybe someone should go find a doctor. <sighs> Don't just stand there. Help me. You're on chest compressions. Got it. Ah, you don't have to give mouth to mouth in this one. Now, start. <laughs> Stop, dude. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Apollo, thanks so much for the 22 months. Welcome back. Good to see you. Happy Sunday. Hope you're doing well. That was funny. <laughs> you picked the wrong girl, creep. <laughs> Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Oh, Splinter Cell? she remembers, the ranch, but left after a policy dispute. Easy. They're guests of mine. And this Dude, one is this is so well. good. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't you? You big moron. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> uh, this is <laughs> kind of splitter cell we talking about? Okay. True. Number two. Get you inside. <laughs> You've had a rough day. <laughs> Good lord. You're welcome. I swear. Now, now. Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. Yeah, well. What's everybody looking at me for? Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. You might be right. Oop, did not mean to look at Tifa's ass. Sorry about that. Whoopsie doodle. Could have happened to anybody. Moving on. <laughs> Just trying to rotate the camera. I feel like I got... Oh, hey, a materia. What the fuck? <laughs> Listen, I feel like I feel like the mocking was was pretty funny. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> that was so good. I can't do Barrett's voice at all, but like that was that was fucking great. Oh my god, that was so funny. Let's peek peek around. Make sure we didn't miss anything else. I swear. You think there'd be some players in these waters? Oh. Well, would you look at that? I finally hooked a catch, and a good one, too. Bet you thought you could blow me out of the water just because I'm getting on in years, hmm? No. Well, think again. Certainly I'm not. This town's ace angler, Zogan. Hi, Zogan. I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You Hi. youngins can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my Kyrie? I don't know. Experience. I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. Shiva, what's your ability? When played, spawn diamond dust of power two, four, and six in empty positions. Yeah, okay, that's really good. Let's take that. Yeah, that's just that's that's good. That's just good. Um yep, nope, that's just good. Uh goodbye. Yep. 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 
Yep. Yep. We're gonna try that right now. We're gonna find out together. Oh, we want that up there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Wonder what would be better here. So you see Harley, so it's it's gonna put a diamond dust in all of the twos. Right? Because you have to have, they have to be at least twos in order for it to spawn there because that's what her cost is. So because those two slots are both twos, she's going to summon Diamond Dust in both of those slots. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that's not fine. I think we lose now. Hmm. Oh, I put it in both. There you go. Oh, I see. So it puts it in all of your empty slots. So I got a two in the one because there was one pin and I got a four in the other because there was two pins there. Right? And now I lose. But, um... So I puts it in all... So that's like, uh, I'm playing this. This is my last card. That makes way more sense. Okay, let's retry that. That makes way more sense. I thought I would only put it in the two slots. I was mistaken. Uh, nope, it's good. Yeah, no, no, no. It takes up all of your empty pins. off the same way. Yeah, we gotta restart this too. This guy's good. This is like a, the exact opposite of what the last one was, so we have to be a little bit more careful with how we play our cards. Probably need to play around the corners a little bit better. Uh... 
Unlucky. Yeah, we're just fucked again. Man! Because all he's got to do is put a one right there and we're doomed. Yep. Fuck me, dude. We might still win, but it's going to be close. I doubt it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we're doomed now. It's over. Maybe? No, yeah, he's gonna be able to put three right there and it's gonna be able to get me over the, uh, we'll see if he fucks it up. This guy's the same rank as the other threes, but this has been the hardest one out of all of them so far. He's got some really weird angled cards that I don't know where they actually like take over spots. I don't know how to play defensively around it. Oh, if I do that, he's going to fuck me. Um, I have to do this. I have to use this this turn. He's gonna take that slot if I don't. That's fine. I think that's fine anyway. That would give me five in the top row. Wouldn't do me any good anywhere else though. There we go. That was tough. I love this card game. This is super fun. Ooh, an L shape with a power bat in the back, too. That's dope. Raise the power of allied cards on effect to about three. Okay. Goodness. Only one strength, though. This is you, the one that got 
got away. <laughs> Serves me right for looking down on you just because you're young. That's fair. You shouldn't have. Queen's blood is a lot like fishing, you know. Gotta be patient. Wait for the right moment, then reel them in. Time it wrong, and you'll be watching your victory swim away. It's good advice. <sighs> Just look what happened to me. Guess I had a bigger catch on my hands than I thought. <sighs> I should have been more careful. Fair. Valid. True, even. Uh, so where is... There's got to be one more card person here somewhere. I should probably look around pretty careful here. Because he was hiding. So it wasn't Priscilla that was uh almost drowned. It was Yuffie this time. It's a nice little switch. They handled that really well too. That was funny. Only kids allowed in here. Oh. No grown-ups. Oh. Why are there so many places I'm not allowed to go? Kind of disrespectful. Just saved the town. <laughs> Yeesh. Not asking to go into somebody's house. Alright, let's head back up, I guess. <laughs> hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... <laughs> we could sit down for a chat later? <laughs> got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could... Come by the inn tomorrow. So wait, you won't be sorry. Promise. Later. <laughs> she did such a good job with using Yuffie voice. Yuffie's voice. My goodness. I know, I know. She laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Complete 180. Way to go, Barrett. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Good lord. Alright, I didn't see another um Queen's Blood thing, so maybe it's not in under Junon. Maybe it's up in the up in the upper section. We'll have to wait and see. Hey, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Thank you. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? Uh, could you make it five? <laughs> five it is. Oh, everything is caught. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? Well, thanks. Respite. That's right, he likes his privacy. Very valid. It's open. What up, Barrett? Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Uh, probably your autograph. Like Tifa said, your autograph. <laughs> ah, the burden of fame. <laughs> <laughs> Always knew this day'd come. Good thing my signature's a work of art. Good Let lord. Me prove it to you. <laughs> to join us, nice. Sucking them straight out of my head. Ooh. 
And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. It was not red. No, nope. I'll clear here, officer. Well, that was not red. Your patrol is just as uneventful. Nah, 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 nah. She playing games. She playing games. No, 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 no. Who was that? Who was that? Or T fat? Or T fat? Hello. Hi, Tifa. Oh. Hey. Yeah, rhetorical. Sorry. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I. You apologize. What I said in calm. There you go. Good boy. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? <laughs> the only person I remember is you. The only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. Okay then. Oh, she liked that. <laughs> the store. Oh, he was the kid in the general store. <laughs> anyway, he My bad. the village right before you did. I thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. Oh, no shit. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model and... <sighs> You're not interested, are you? Not really, but uh, I'm happy to listen. So, go ahead. He's improving. He still it's sucks. Okay. <laughs> Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... Good lord. <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just yep. be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Good lord. Night. I was too late. Dang it, I was too late. Now I got a cloud screenshot. It's only half as good. I guess we can talk to Ara. <laughs> I guess we can talk to Ara. Yeah, I just need this weapon. All right, sick. Have a nice night. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, did we get anything else that we can uh, transmutate before I forget what since we're already in the menu? Mm, yes, Psychic's Charm. MP. Oh, cool. This is with the uh, Mind Flare Crown. Max MP and magic power by 5% and immunity to silence. That's very good. Holy shit. Yeah, that's just great. And this is just an improved earring, so there's no reason not to do this either. I'll do as I please. <laughs> Shut
you gonna do about it? Nothing. <laughs> the Empress Scepter. I'm sorry, is that two weapon slots? Two? Dos? Conjure a ward that grants invincibility while casting spells. Strengthens Aerith's basic, basic attack. Nice. Finish off an enemy with standard attack launched with in the ward. Okay. So she gets so she gets two abilities now? My face is in the way again, dude. She does. No! Okay, this is cool. Lightning damage, that's specific. Ward duration, that's probably important. Increase the amount of MP absorbed, that's good too. MP recovery up is good as well. Let's do um Let's do lightning damage and enduring war, or I'm sorry, spiritual harvest, because that helps me get my MP back as well. And that just seems like a good combination. So she'll be using uh, lightning materials. Uh, does she have lightning? Oh, I was mistaken. She didn't even have lightning. Why did I think she had lightning? Huh. Well, irrelevant. She does now. And then uh, he can have his poison material back. Dope. Okay. Right on. Get Aerith another new weapon. That's dope. All right. What I don't do you know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. Kinda. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that. Not with Sephiroth around. That's fair. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? Sort of. Uh, the church, right? I know that's wrong. The I know church, that's wrong. Right? Oh, so close. That was the second time. Oh, yeah. Right. That was fun, wasn't it? Hopping from roof to roof together like that? Yeah, it was great. Knock, knock. Yes. This town, should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. We'll manage. We'll manage. It feels like I have fish bones in my nose. <laughs> it's okay, Red. We got this. Wasn't that fun falling through the roof? Yeah, no, it was dope. Yeah, I had a great time. <laughs> I had a great time. We already got the living material, so we're good to go. Sleep time. A well-earned rest. <laughs> Gotta tone up that steel gut. Oh. The fuck? Come on in, guys. <laughs> okay. Now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. Okay. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the interim Wutai government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai is not to be trifled with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wutai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand, but you guys get it. I don't know if that's the answer. Creep around in the dark, slitting people's throats. We ain't about to stoop that. I resent that. Although, it is something we do. This is 
fucking great. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, <laughs> scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess. <laughs> Just spit it out already. Come on, yes. dude. But a certain company's new president. Nope, Bruce bad idea. Freaking Shinra. Crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Hey, she but called him a douchebag. Anyway. Enjoy his fancy <laughs> inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out. Oh. Wow, tell us more. <laughs> okay, you want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey. Uh oh. Bye bye. Thanks, man. Thanks for the lurk. Oh my god. <laughs> Not the motorcycle guy. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, cheers, Jason. I appreciate the lurk. Now, now, you don't want to make me come in there and fetch you because I would love to. A pain in the ass. Let's go. Oh, we in. We in. He just want to play Fort Condor? Yeah, sure. Sure. Bye bye. <laughs> Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? I kind of want to make you wait longer, if I'm being honest. Since certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Still playing hard to get it. Oh my well, gosh. I got news for you, young man. As if by think, the speed demon has been entrusted with a singular task. What's that, Rush? Oh. Me? Uh, you come alone? <laughs> It only takes two to tango. That's true. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. Oh, have you? The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, Kay. and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. That's not my friend. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. <clears throat> Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? <laughs> We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. I like her. It worked out fine. Like I pray it will for you, Fee, upstairs. I like her. <gasps> New quest. Sorry, that was loud. Sorry. Sorry. I got excited.
Oh, Rhonda. The frog master? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Very captivating, yes. I agree. <laughs> Didn't think you'd still be hanging around. Of course! Well, since you clearly don't have anything better to do. Clearly. Think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. Hi, Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. And never looked Frog back. Frog from Chronosher, yeah. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or pocket oh, That's fair. That's fair. You're not wrong. Where's your son? The crow's nest. Oh, okay. I got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. I gotta stand up for a bit. Kind of sad. Legs are starting to get tight. Honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. It's fair. I meant what I said. Can't afford to take care of this town and his shit. I raised him best I could. Gave him every advantage. But he's gotta learn to stand on his own two feet. True. Besides, I've got someone else to take care of now. Don't I, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> I got someone else to take care of. My dog. So fair. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'll take it. Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. Oh! But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. Listen, I wouldn't let you anybody hurt that dog. Safe. Oh, I have to walk. Alrighty. You got it. Brittle houses. Also, I noticed it says two out of five now, by the way. Which means there's two other um There's one. We'll figure that out when we come back to Junon. Yeah, we'll figure it out when we come back. All right, I gotta save the pupper. Rendezvous with salmon. Dope. Oh boy. This is actually an escort quest. <laughs> Oh boy. Hi, Salmon. Don't you worry. Any monster that wants to get to is gonna have to go through me. What the fuck is so fast? Hey, Cloud, remind me. How old were you when you left home? 
14. Wait, it was spring, so 13. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it. But. But. 2,000 gil. She offered me that. <laughs> to make a fresh start. Wow. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it, since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help setting your price to two grand. Sentimental length. Some triple slash here, you should be able to take him out. There we go. Bow wow! What? what? Salmon? I need you to make up your mind. <laughs> as much as I want to let her fly, I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes. Maybe I'll panic, get in the way, hold her down, all to keep her safe. Oh, Marlene, I wish you could be my baby girl forever. <laughs> get him! Good news, Barrett. You don't have to worry about it today. Ready, that hurt. With me. Coming up. Let's go. I'm in. Let's go. <gasps> you hurt the dog? Absolute audacity. Yeah. 
Arf, arf. Love this. Is Salmon just, like, running through the fields into the fiend-infested parts? Because, like... Sure does feel like it. Sam and I have to pet the chocobo. It's part of the. It's part of the. You know what I mean. <laughs> you just gotta keep him honest. You know it's okay. <laughs> then again, since we can't pet the dog, true. Oh shit, what are those? I've been petrified. Taking a certain amount of damage while in the state will turn you to stone, rendering you incapacitated. Avoid damage with the stair until the status wears off or cure the ailment with the Suno remedies or other spells. A rare Cyclone Drake variant creates sandstorms with its powerful wings to trap and weaken its prey. Attacking the aura that shrouds it will, will produce tornadoes. The aura will weaken with each tornado spawn, and once it is vanished, the Drake will become pressured. Attacking him from behind. My face is in the way. Attacking him from behind will weaken the aura without creating tornadoes. Got it. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny. just like perished after that. That was fun. Got it. Nice. Yikes, dude. Damn, you okay? Actually, yeah, you're good. We've got to be close, right? We are close. Thank God. Bow, wow, wow, bow, wow, wow. Aww. Woof, woof. Sam, what are you doing here? Hi, Dylan. <laughs> Came all this way and you're still full of energy. <laughs> uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe and to make sure her boy got his allowance. <laughs> keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? 
Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. Why don't you hang on to it? <laughs> this is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. Parent, <laughs> I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. Yeah. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. See, Salmon gets it. it. Dilster was looking for you, dude. Dilster? Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on. Aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Yeah, we got a bear thing. You mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Get that autograph Actually, hand ready. While you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's uh, situation seems to be taken care of. Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Sure. Right this way. Your aviators make me uncomfortable. All those willing to fight against shippers Man, You make are, are something else. Mid Garinos. When I saw you on the news. I was blown away. Violence isn't the answer. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. I'm glad for you. <laughs> so, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape. I've been there. Someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Curie. <laughs> oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? No. Sorta. <laughs> what are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that nope. place has got a killer view. I think a dog we brought to us together. All the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. I'm in. I don't even need to ask. You're the best. You know, I just knew I could count on you. So, you gonna help or me? You can sniff out trouble. <laughs> I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, True. pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the great condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. I'm in all kinds of stuff, to be honest. <gasps> a piano! Curious about this old clavier. I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. Hi, Dorian. It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. Has everybody got aviators? Obtain sheet music found at pianos around the world to add these scores to your repertoire. If you achieve an A rank in a performance, speak with Dorian and he will reward you for your musical prodigy. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission. I did not do very well at this the last time. To every corner of the world. How may I be of service to you? Oh, it kind of is. <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> On our way. What's weird is I'm usually really good with rhythm games too. You know, like um, theater rhythm and Guitar Hero stuff like that. My face is gonna be totally in the way for this. All right, here we go. Press blue to select the piece that you'd like to perform. When performing a piece, tilt blue, blue in time with the notes drifting out from the center to play both the melody and the accompanying chords. Virtuoso pian pianist can increase the note swirl speed for an even greater challenge. I do have the plaid. Yep, I do. I sure do. 
When I was doing this in the demo, it just the timing felt off. It was odd. Either that or like the control sticks were like picking up two two um directions at the same time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I loved theater rhythm. It was super cool. This is so cool. Cat, please, not right now. Please. <laughs> Fucking cat, dude. <laughs> Oh shit. I didn't get the A, you can tell by the bar. Or is that the timer? Never mind. Maybe I did get the A. 133 great is pretty good. Okay, yeah, we got it. <laughs> okay, we got it. Yeah, I was like, I was jamming out to like the tune of the song and then all of a sudden it wasn't the tune of the song anymore and I was very confused. <laughs> we did get the A though. We did not get an S or a star rather. I don't know if that matters or not. I'm guessing not since they said, if you get an A, make sure you let them know. Like in the middle of me playing, the cat just came in and started like rubbing up on my feet. Just like bashing his fucking ass into my legs. Where's the best? Would you care to share? I would love to share a performance with you. My Lewis melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will oh. enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. I hope so too, because that is super fun. That is super fun. I enjoyed that a lot. By the end of this playthrough, I will have more likely I will more likely have gotten perfect uh, full charts on all of those piano songs than have played uh, hard mode for Condor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let it. Let it. I stopped in the middle of that conversation. That girl was trying to get her Riz on. I missed it. Claire's really lucky. Talk about a love story for the ages. She met Dylan here, didn't she? Maybe Toby could be your Dylan. The same Toby who was making moves on you? No way. That guy's too big a flirt for my taste. Maybe I'm just over men in general. Then would you consider dating me? Huh? Get it! Let's go! <laughs> I hate that it cuts off there. Don't be cowards. Make it happen. <laughs> anyway, we got a level 4 4 condor, which means this guy will whoop our ass.
Fight me. an agency? Here to sign me? No, wait. You came out here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. <laughs> All right, twist my arm, my I'll give you the show of a lifetime. I'm ready. I'm good. Oof, savage. <laughs> so you're not a talent scout or a fan. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil. And I'm going to be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. What do you say? Want to play against a future celebrity? Yeah, why not? You're going to whip my ass, but I'm in. I'm in. Uh, what was the new card that we got? Oh, that's right. I think this one's useful, and it's probably better than um, the Riot Trooper, to be honest. But that one's going to be pretty hard to use. Because it's kind of weak for a two-cost compared to the other two costs we have, like Titan and Shiva. Shiva's kind of like a I'm done playing cards now button. Um, but we can we can drop this out for the um, for the Zemzillet. I feel like I'm never utilizing the full, like, that five. I get the feeling that the Queen's Blood boards are going to get bigger based on how we're seeing, like, the previews, right? But um, I guess time will tell. Oh, I forgot to check the new cards, too. The Toxerat. Lowers the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by three. Okay. And then this is a new one as well. When played, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by one. Okay, so these are all negative effect cards then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Yep, okay. And this is just a crawler, okay. That's actually, like, this This one cost is better than the, uh... It goes backwards, though. Mm, we'll keep we'll keep with what we got. We're gonna have to get rid of some of these one cost eventually, but I feel like the um they're they're actually pulling their weight pretty hard. The crystalline crabs are good, the cactars are good, the cactars are probably a little niche as well, but plus three is really strong. Uh we don't want Shiva just yet. Do this. Whoa. Oh, I don't have the way to destroy that, though. That's wild. Yikers. Okay. Um, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. Um, okay. So I think the easiest thing to do here is to play this. Because it puts pressure on that three slot back there. And I'm going to force him to play something there. Yep. That's fine. Do this. Interesting. Oh, fuck. I did not expect them to take them back over. Shit. Um. I guess I would want to do this, huh? Okay, we take that one back. I think this wins it for us, right? Yeah, this wins it for us. Yep, nice. Good shit.
Nice. We got ourselves a flame trooper. That was a really cool card. That was a cool card. Woo! Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me. Clear as day. That's it. I could feel my spirits rising. I knew I was a musical genius. That loss was just what I needed to get my groove back. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good. <laughs> One of these days I'll make it to the big time. Give my folks the life they deserve. Until then, there's nothing for it but to keep strumming guitar and playing cards. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. Woo! As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Thanks. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. Good news, I'm already here. There's another side quest board here. Uh-huh. See, I thought we were getting ready to move on from Junon, and they were just like, mm-mm. Not today, you're not. Excuse me. Ooh. Okay, everyone. Who's ready to learn some history? Our Republic's capital, Junon, was built on top of giant ships that floated just offshore. But many years later, Shinra started a war. A war that Shinra ended up winning. And then they sank our beautiful floating city. Shinra then built a giant underwater reactor. But the reactor's That's true. started killing the creatures <laughs> of the sea. The Mako hurts creatures on land, too. And if we don't act fast, it'll even start hurting us. That's why we have to work together to stop Shinra. So never forget, children, that the ocean is counting on you. Okay! And what do we always <laughs> say? No tears until our waters are crystal clear. No, no tears until our waters are crystal clear. No tears until our waters are crystal clear. No tears until our waters are crystal clear. Damn. Dedication. Bad quest. Our beloved Condor has not graced the skies above Judon in quite some time. We worry for her welfare and wish to hire someone to prepare a culinary feast that she will find too tempting to resist. Those willing to provide assistance are invited to join us on Condor Hill. Sure. What up? <laughs> Finally. Someone who's worth a damn. I'm Cameron, Queen's Blood champion, and I roam the world in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands. As I communed with nature, I received a vision. Oh, a vision, huh? The spirit of this game we both play. Look, Koda, welcome on in. Thanks for the lurk. And now I shall reveal it to you. Are you prepared? Then come. Not today, thanks. <laughs> Not today, thanks. I'm in. Let's go. Oh, we get the Midgard Summer. Summer. Midgard Summer. <laughs> That's actually a really good card. Okay, right on. So the um the Flame Trooper was really good. It's a little risky. I like risk, though. And I don't feel like we ever use the security officer and are happy about it. Let's put one Flame Trooper in. I'm ready.
Ooh, did I fuck this up? I kind of did, huh? No, I didn't. Well, yeah, maybe I did. We'll find out. Oh, shit. It actually happened. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I immediately got punished. Hmm. Really? I think we win. After all that. Yep, we sure do. After all that. <laughs> I was like, damn, he got me. No, he didn't. Man, talked all that shit. This what? Is wrong. This is all wrong. I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. What the fuck? No. There it is again. In that voice. Could it be? It has returned. No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. What? <laughs> oh God. What have I done? Now, who are you? I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. You okay? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Ledrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's Blood. After he started selling cards, Ledrell he spoke Balmon, huh? a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Indeed, this match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for Does this it? experience, my friend. <laughs> I have so many questions. So that the purple shit looked like the uh I, I didn't play the DLC on stream. But the purple shit looked like um what was his name? Was his name Nero? From the DLC, the final boss from the DLC. It looked like it looked like that dude. 
Which wouldn't shock me, but I don't know what he would have to do with this, uh, with this. That'd be crazy. Michaela? We can go fight Michaela real quick. Uh, I guess we can grab the last material from Chadley real fast, too. Thanks to your efforts, this... And yet, I'm excited to see what knowledge awaits us This elsewhere. is just the beginning of our adventures together. Thanks, Chadley. Areas to complete it. We'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. True. Okay, nothing here. We should be good. All right, let's head up to this other marker. Let's go find another Queen's Blood. I hope I wasn't supposed to be looking at these posters. These people need to get off their stuff. Hello there, everyone. Hello. What up? My name's Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. What do you say? Want to play and help me drum up interest? I mean, sure, I don't think that's how that's going to work, but I'm with you. Get a Mind Flare card, that's cool. More negative effects. Um, what was the new card that we got this time? Oh, right, the Midgard. Raise this card's power by one. See, I that would be a lot of fun, though, to make a deck that's all around negative effects and then making this card incredibly strong. That would be super fun. You're welcome to come back oh, anytime. Shit. My bad. A round or two would really... I'm in. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Sorry. Um, Not gonna waste the two slot. Otherwise, it's gonna take it from me. Didn't have a choice. Interesting. That Tonberry?
Um. Yeah, we got this. Hey. Right. Well played, Michaela. The power of cards on affected slots, okay. Interesting. So you want to put that on the field and then destroy it. See what I'm talking about? That connection you feel when you're playing someone. Hmm. You, my friend, are now officially a member of the Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. People laugh, but I really think this game has the power to bring folks together in a way few things can. Because the key to world peace isn't violence. It's joy. Plain and simple joy. We Comrade, don't disagree on that, Michaela. I ask you to go forth and play Queen's Blood. Spread the joy of gaming. I'm counting on you. I will do my best. It probably won't be as good as you hope, but I will do my best. <laughs> I will do my best. Oh my god, this is a six-step side quest. What's how, how long is this one? Let's do that one first, huh? What do you think? They certainly poured their energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. Yeah, no main story tonight. Doesn't look like it. I didn't think they'd show some side quests in the back like this. Greetings. Kyrie, Merc of Juno. And you are. Oh, man. I'm sure I got all excited thinking I had a customer. You kind of do. Oh, thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. Not your fellow anything. And quit calling yourself a Merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. <laughs> uh, what even is a Merc? Nobody really knows. And besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> How? I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich. But nobody knows we're here, or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. Ugh. Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But, like, what's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested? That sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to Wow. Me. Allergies. Of course, allergies, yeah. Shut up. This thing can talk? Indeed. <laughs> Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to mama. I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a. She's got a lot of energy, that's for sure. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done. But not to worry, I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. Oh my god. Pretty good, right? 
be lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, what could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. <laughs> Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a merc. Mm -hmm. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? Get her, Cloud. Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. Pass. What do you mean, pass? Huh. Deal. I, I'm in charge. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Take the lead. Here goes. <laughs> All right, let's use Radiant Ward. One more shot. I saw you take that hit, you know. Oh, that's fun. Look, it changes her auto attack completely. Get him. That's ridiculous. That's so cool. For real, these all of these side quests have been so fun so far. Look at this, this is ridiculous. Gotta go for it now. I think we're almost done. That's unreal. This is so dope, man. Look at this. <laughs> My gosh. Gotta go for it now. Oh, it's a big bitch. Mutated flan that have absorbed Mako polluted seawater and thus become poisonous. Of course, of course they're poisonous. They swallow their prey whole, slowly weakening those unfortunate victims with their bodily fluids. Hitting them with elemental damage will pressure them, but will also cause them to develop a resistance and begin absorbing that element. Okay, so you have to kind of like balance between them. Once they gather enough energy, they will release some powerful magic attack. Get him. It's on you. I'll show you what I can do. Cut. Whatever. This one's for you. Oh, I do have Asuna. Look at me. Doing better now? Ready? Be beautiful. Busy? <laughs> <laughs> Feeling like yourself again? Divine punishment. Oops. Ow. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Don't you go after you.
Gotta get Aerith back up. Kept you waiting? Uh, we should probably do pray. Stay strong, okay? Gotta go for it. Lend me your strength. Can you handle that? I bet if I saw you take that hit, you know. Yeah, sounds fun, Baku. Have a good night. Appreciate you being here. One more divine punishment. Have fun. Okay. That was tough. And now I know why I wasn't getting any customers. Nobody could get past all those ugly. I got past it before. I'm glad you learned something. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Anyway, I'm gonna split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Mer. Hey. <laughs> Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, later. Bye, Kyrie. I wish her on my worst enemy. <laughs> you and me both. My dudes! What up, Toby? You saw the monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. Uh, it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Yeah, you should have. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She gone. She moved on. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh, yeah. Rhonda was telling me you do Merc. Do you see the Chocobo in the background? I fucking love this game, dude. <laughs> it's got fucking aviators on, man. <laughs> oh my god. Work on the side, too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything. Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. Are we best buds? I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. Hmm. Avalanche by day, traveling marks by night. I don't know how you dudes find the time to do it all. That's fantastic. <laughs> that is fantastic. Okay. It even has the hat. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So we have to find a way to get up to where the condor is. You gotta climb up there, really? I wouldn't even begin to know how to get up there. Maybe I have to go around through there, probably, huh? I'm 
go up through here. Rose against Shinra. Welcome to all the We're gonna reclaim these waters and make them beautiful again. I get that we're brand new to the Come on, you're gonna do it anyway. Come here. Come on. There you go. He's just down there whining. Yes. Yeah, come on. Up you come. Do you want to say hi to them at least? Not even gonna, not even gonna meow. Got a whisker in my eye. You would think I'd cut these out of the videos? Absolutely not. YouTube can see this too. <laughs> Absolutely not. Right? Right. Good lord. He's shedding so much. Ugh. You have to get down now. You ready? You're not. You have to get down. You gotta get down. I got shit to do. You ready? Come on. What? Oh my god. <laughs> so much hair. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We wouldn't rob YouTube of that experience. <laughs> Certainly not. I probably should have healed. Ah, it'll be fine. Welcome to Condor Hill. Oh, ho. care to join us, young lady? We've got a lovely breeze blowing today. You certainly do. So, what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the great condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Fair. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. <laughs> Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but... Uh... Well, if you're still looking we for volunteers, help. we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. No questions. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. I go manage. In the meantime. Now that's a thumbnail. <laughs> now that's a thumbnail. Love that. 